Hello, this is a review of the Safety First Onboard 35 Air Plus Infant Car Seat that we see here. Now this is actually for up to 35 pounds for 32 inches tall for infants. Now this is actually model number IC168CKQ that we're reviewing today. Now it comes in a box that you see like this. So it comes in this box and out of the box of course you get the car seat itself and a pamphlet here that that comes with it for uh, the, the basic features and a decent instruction manual we'll talk about in a minute and a product registration and recall warranty card that you will definitely want to send in but hopefully they'll never have a recall for this but you'll want that for your own protection. Now let's take a closer look at the unit itself. So of course color will be a preference for your choosing uh, but it comes with hand washable materials. All of this can be hand washed, not machine washed, but hand washed. This is removable and they'll tell you how to remove this. Um, so that when the baby grows larger, of course, you'll be able to do that. And you'll see that the, here's the, the harnesses inside here with several positions to, uh, to run the stuff through inside of there. And of course, once you've harnessed the baby in there, you got this nice convenient pull handle here to just give a tug, pull down, and it'll uh, tighten it all up there. You have a four position handle here. Now you'll be able to have to squeeze it from both sides. So this is the foremost position that it stands out at. This is the next position and the next position, and the last position. And now the cover here can be pulled up, you know, it holds into different positions for how you'd like to give a little bit of, of shade. Um, it's about as far forward as it goes here, just to give you an idea for what you're looking at there. Now when you push the lever back forward, you'll notice that they even give you little visual indicators here to tell you that it's locked in place. You see green, you know that this, the handle is locked firmly. Let's talk about how you actually remove the whole thing. This part is really easy. It's uber easy to pull it out and put it back in. So all you have to do is pull on this little handle here and of course have your hand somewhere else. So you have your other hand right here or sometimes I like to just grab it over here but it pinches your fingers a little bit more there. You're meant to do it more from here. But you pull uh, this handle and it lifts right off. By the way, there's another handle down here not to be confused with the other one. This is more for the car seat adjustment when you put the base inside. That's the base that goes in that goes in the car this is the separatable carrier like so so unfortunately i have the camera in one hand so i can't really show you me lifting it out it's pretty easy but here's the base this is what we'll talk about in a minute uh, pretty soon uh, how you actually put this in your car you got all three systems or ways to connect it into your car as well we'll talk about that um, but then here's the unit itself so this of course you'd probably just leave in your car um, but then let's take this and plop it right in now you're listening for a click and it's locked into place and of course you can just lift up on the handle. You're not supposed to have to carry the seat. The, you don't be normally carrying that with you but you can give a little tug on this to make sure that it's in place. But that's as easy as that is. Now the handle we thought seems really comfortable and the seat seems comfortable as well. Now they have instructions everywhere which is really nice. Now let's start with the manual. Now the manual, if you flip through it, I'll open up to an example, the green section here. Now this is for a section for attaching it into your car, but I wanted to get an idea of the nice picture-based diagrams that they have in here. So this is the attaching the rear-facing installation. Now I'll, I'll show you more details of actually doing that, but you'll see the pictures that show you the different two seatbelt configurations of the latch system. But you got nice pictures there, but there's other instructions elsewhere. So take a look at here, they got nice stickers here on that actual unit there if you're just attaching that. If you have the base here you got more diagrams over here as well so you'll be able to follow this so in case you don't have the manual with you you always got that. You got more pictures down here and more pictures here and so you can see what the latch system looks like here so let's push this down but lift up you have tabs A and tabs B and again the instructions will tell you more about that but you flip it up and they give you different tell you different things that are going on. Um, we'll cover that in more detail in a minute. But it was nice to have instructions everywhere so you then always have to remember the manual. But even that's not a problem. They give you an actual spot on the car seat itself for storing the manual. So the manual goes in little clips right here. So now you can take the manual with you and just keep it with the car seat for you or anyone else that holds the baby. Now let's actually put this in a car. So remember it's always rear facing in this one here and to know that you just look at it says rear facing you face the text that way and start following the instructions. And as we start to follow here you'll see us starting to connect this into our car. We're using the latch system which this car supports. This is a 2001. It's on both of our 2001 cars so it's not much of a problem. But you see how they can have these all the things tucked up. What we're doing here is we're putting them through the little slots that we have the side here on both sides. 
and it locks in there. And let's follow this one. And there you go. It's a little bit, little bit harder when you lean over the whole thing, as you see here. But what are you looking for here? You're looking for this little, this little nylon thing that's in most cars here that's have the systems, if not all of them. It's just a little thing on the seat. It's not actually anything, but that tells you pretty much where's the right place to put it. And we're just pulling it taut. All right, then just close up the panels and then give it a little shake to make sure it seems really secure. Now let's just put the car seat right back in. We lower it on in. Listen for the click, give a quick pull, and we know it's in place. And now to remove it, it's just this easy. Remember, we pull that lever on the back and lift it right on off. Now you can remove it as well. Um, it actually takes a little bit more effort to remove it from the latches. We found we had to push and pull a little bit harder on that. Um, but it's, most people just leave this in their car. But it's not a problem at all to get it out. Now this was the latch system, the preferred way for connecting it into your cars. Now it's also called isopause um, in other parts of the world. But uh, the latch system is preferred, but if you don't have that in your car, we'll look at the other ways to connect it. Now I've connected it with the shoulder strap belt that we see here, which is going to connect in just like an ordinary seat belt. Now basically you take your shoulder strap belt, run it through here, run it up, up, up through here, run it underneath this, this uh, gray piece here, which actually locks into place right here. So you'll clip this on and lock it down in there, and it connects right on in just like an ordinary seat belt. This is good if you're in somebody else's car, can't find the latch system, or you're in an airplane, or something like that, and it gets locked in nice and securely with this as well. It takes a little bit more effort, though, to get this thing to clamp down, because you got to pull this nice and flat over here as you go to do that. You're going to have to make sure that all the slack gets taken up in the back there, so sometimes, you know, it won't retract. So it takes a little bit more effort, but it still worked just fine. And there you can see how it ran through here, so to release, just pop it open there, and we've got it released from the car there. Now do check your manual for it to make sure you know how the seat belts work so that if you have to pull it all the way out to get it to retract, you'll want to follow your manual as well for your car of how to get it to work as too. And lastly, here's just the car seat attached without the base installed at all. This is just the car seat held in with the seat belt. So let's take a look at that. This is more just like the lap belt connection here. But let's say you just went to the hospital and you forgot the, the, the base on it, but you can connect the car seat. And this, it just basically runs through these two little strap holders here and it connects in. That's really all it is, just these two little straps. And it's, it seems pretty secure from... I mean, really secure. So this is one of the approved ways to connect it as well. Well, there you have it. We like it. It seems to have everything we want. It's pretty convenient. And overall, we're happy with it. Thanks for watching the review.